Hey everyone, I'm back. Um, I got some happy mail I wanted to share with you all. Um, when did I get this package? Yesterday, Black Friday. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and upload this video kind of out of order from some of the other ones, the haul videos. I hope you've been enjoying those because I knew that lots of people <laughs> don't necessarily go shopping um, during Black Friday and you know needed something to do during Thanksgiving while all the food was being prepared if it wasn't you doing the preparing um, I had a very nice Thanksgiving very low-key which I like um, just me and my husband since the family members all went to other locations to celebrate Thanksgiving so we didn't have to host anybody and we didn't have to have turkey either so <laughs> I did make dinner for us but it wasn't turkey um, so I did get this package you see here and a card in the mail on Friday. So I wanna share that with you all first before I move on to the haul. So this is a card uh, from Isabel. And she looked, she even stamped the envelope and it's in some very non-traditional colors for autumn and Thanksgiving. This is a shaker card. It's, it's so fun. I would not have thought to put purple and brown together but it works beautifully. So you can see there's a turkey here on the front and she's probably used one of those bags for um, putting stuff inside of, you know, the self-sealing type of, um, for like cards and stuff. It's really cute. Thank you, Isabel, for thinking of me. And she does have a message inside, so um, it's just your um, standard Happy Thanksgiving type thing. Um, but thank you so much. I don't know. Let me see. Yeah. Here's her signature on the back. Um, it's really cute. I think, uh, let me look for her YouTube channel and I will post it in the description box if I don't forget. Um, this box, and I took the shipping label off, was actually, actually came this way in the mail. So, um, this is from Lisa. And Lisa is Hope Chest Bride here on YouTube. I don't know if she still does videos. She did some time ago, but I don't know if she does them still today. This package has stickers on it, and I want to rescue the stickers because they're so cute. They're they're like a puffy sticker, but they're vintage looking. Like if you look at the um two stickers here, they're just adorable. And then she's got this huge snowman on the side. I want to rescue him from the package. Um, he stuck onto the the paper, and it came through very well in the in the postal mail. Now I've only cut off the top, um, cut through the tape. Uh, I haven't peeked inside, so this will be my first time seeing what's on the inside. And Lisa, thank you so much for sending this to me. I was very surprised to get the happy mail. So it looks like there's a card on the top. Ooh, I'm so excited to see what this is. Um, so let me see. Oh, that's cute, cute, cute. Dear Santa, the cheese is for you. <laughs> oh. oh, Lisa, thank you. She's written a little note inside. Well, not written, but it's typed up. Thank you, Lisa. Oh, cute. Okay. So she said this was a hand, there's a hand stitched goodie in here. And she said she got her Christmas shopping done early, which, you know, you're way ahead of me on that because I have not done hardly any Christmas shopping, which I know I'll regret later because I'm a planner, so. Or I like to plan. I prefer to plan. Let me just make sure there's nothing else in here. And by the way, this box is super cute. Um, it's got snowflakes on the inside. Cute. Okay, putting that over to the side. I will rescue the stickers later. Look how she's wrapped this. This is so beautiful. She's got a little um, wood rolling pin here. Um, and I had planned to do all these little, you know, um, decor pieces. I haven't gotten to it yet. Um, this weekend, my husband and I have spent so far 
redoing my closet. When I say closet, we have a very small ranch style house. Um, and I'm not complaining about that, but when you live in a ranch from the 1960s, you end up with small rooms. The rooms have closets, but the closets are very small. So because it's just me and him, we, we actually have an extra bedroom that I have turned into my own closet. And hopefully once I retire, I will have a lot less clothing because you know, for me to go into the office, I have to dress a certain way. And we haven't been to the office in two years. We still haven't gone back to the offices yet. So um, all to say that um, we've been slowly renovating things around the house and decided to tackle my closet space this weekend, which is the four day um, weekend that we both took off. And so he's helping me um, put some new storage units up in my closet. And once that's done, hopefully by the end of the weekend, um, I'll have, you know, better space in there. Oh, she didn't tight real tight, so that's good. So, um, I haven't gotten to any, uh, all this to say, I haven't gotten to any of the crafting I wanted to do. And I hopefully I will. I'm going to make it a point to do that, but. So she sent me, it's kind of coming out the bottom, so I'm just going to do that. Put that over to the side. I was trying to untie the bow and I did. That is so beautiful. Now this has a little button with a gingerbread on it. <laughs> she must be uh, reading my or watching my videos and she knows what I like. So how cute are all these little things? And um, I'm smelling, I wanna say I'm smelling cinnamon, but I'm not sure. Um, more, or maybe it's apple or maybe it's both so she's got two packets here and this little stocking which is too adorable um it's got an andy's mint in it and probably another one stuffed down in there but it's so cute it's tiny and look how she, it's got a look a little button and some holly on it i want to hang this somewhere <laughs> i love doing that and then there was this cup that came out the bottom look how cute Oh, I think she's wrapped paper around it. And then you have this um, gingerbread girl here. And it's got a uh, gingerbread Starbucks um, Keurig thing. So, yes, we do have one of those Keurig single cup makers as well as the pot. So I will partake in that one day um, soon, hopefully. And then... Let's do the brown packet first. So she's got it held closed by a paper clip and um, some, I think these are die cuts from Michaels. I think I've seen people haul these. Let's see, I found these cute ornaments, ornament magnets and ribbon while, while thrifting. Oh, cute. I like the homespun Merry Christmas ribbon. Very, very cute. You can find so much guys while you're thrifting. And let's just slide what this is out. Okay, this is super cute. Okay, so she sent me some ribbon with teddy bears on it. Um, presumably it's Christmas ribbon because it's red and green. And then she's tied it uh, around it with um, this, it's like a, um, a wired greenery, like boxwood greenery. This will be super cute for um, some decor pieces. I will likely use that, hopefully, if I get to those products. I want to. Oh, here she's talking about the magnets. Look at that. So this is a little mitten with some stars. Cute. And then this is a little st <laughs> um, stocking with like the little boxwood and everything. Or the, I'm sorry, what is this called? Um, evergreen. So cute. You can see the paper clip sticking to it. That is just too cute, Lisa. Oh my gosh. The things you can find thrifting, it's just amazing, especially for Christmas stuff. Okay, I'm gonna pull back that piece of tape there and then pull the ribbon up instead of trying to. And this has a broom. You see that little broom? And it's an ornament because it's got a loop on it. So I wanna keep that together, so I'm just gonna leave it like that. And here's a little dude that matches the girl on the cup 
I don't know if you can see that. If I lay it down, you'll see it. There you go. Um, so let's see what's in here. Okay. I'm going to check out. Okay. I'm looking at the timing. Ooh, what is this? Oh, look at that. Oh, it's so prim. So I believe this is the Sizzix die that cuts the gingerbread man and it cuts the hearts in it. And she has sewn, I believe she's done this. She has stitched it to this base, um, like a linen weight sort of. Oh, and she made it into a tag. How cute is this? I'm definitely putting this on the tree. Um, actually, I'm going to do my kitchen in a gingerbread theme this year. Um, so maybe this will go in the kitchen. And I'm going to do a, a big garland because we have a door in the kitchen that goes to the backyard. Um, so I want to put some garland up. But this is just adorable. I love the rusty jingle bell and then the buttons she's sewn on as well. Thank you, Lisa. And then look at this um, fabric she used in the back. I've never seen this fabric. What a great um, find here. And if you notice, this is like a, I don't know if it's black or like a dark, dark green. It might be black um, floss that she's kind of just stitched around here. And I like how she did that. It's very primitive looking. Thank you, Lisa. Thanks for sending me all these items. I was really surprised. Um, I'm glad to have them and I'll definitely use that in my decor this year um, for some decorating for Christmas. I don't know when I'll get to that. Um, so I'm going to try and move this over and show you my haul. I've got quite a few stamps to share with you today. Um, and I just put all this box papers on top. Okay. Um, let's see. So the first ones are a, a bunch of Darcy's that I purchased from a single seller on Mercari. She's got lots of Darcy's uh, stamps for sale. So I'm not going to go through each one and tell you like what the item number is, but they're all Darcy's. And if they're not, I'll tell you which ones are not. But you can see them here. I'm just going to lay them out so you can see them together. I've got some big ones and some small ones. So these are Christmas cookies. This one's a little piece of holly. And they're not all Christmas, by the way. Some of them are Easter. Here's a little jar. Oh, and this one. This one I've been hoping to get for a long time. This one is definitely a Christmas one. This will be perfect for that rolled dough um, tag shape. Um, I still haven't done those. Here's a big egg for Easter. Um, this one is not a Darcy's. It is a Posh Impressions Grassy Meadow. And I decided to keep this because I thought it would be fun for making scenes. It's little flowers and grass. Not that you can't do this. I can do that with my marker. That'd be easy enough. Um, so now we're going to some bigger stamps. So these are all Darcy's stamps that you're looking at here. And I think I have this one digitally. It came on my CD. Um, there's, a, there's the teapot. I have the recipe stamp for this one. The recipe for cherry, for cherry cinnamon tea, I think. And then there's this one, which is um, bunnies carrying a huge basket over their head. So those are the Darcy's ones from the one seller on Macari. Um, and if you like her stamps, um, there, like I said, there's a seller on there. If you just search for um, Darcy's stamps, you'll find her because she's got quite a few she posts. Um, so I'm just going to put these over to the side and show you the rest of what I have to share with you all today. So this is um, an I.O. stamp set. And it's called Holiday Treats from Tara Caldwell. I don't know what year. Does it have the year? It doesn't have the year. It might be under that. Nope. I was hoping it would have the year um, printed under that. Nope. Uh, oh, no. WP789. I don't know if they still have this. But you can see the gingerbread. Two sizes here and the house. And then there's a bunch of cookies. 
So there's that one. And then this set. Now the, the way that this was done was this is a bunch of unmounted rubber stamps. I was after this guy because I didn't have him yet. And um, there's a whole bunch of other stamps in here. So you can see there's um, reindeer, tree, pine cone, little box square here, some sentiments, um, holly berries, pine, uh, happy holidays. There's a snowflake. And then this one has a big poinsettia, another sentiment, some more holly. But you can see there's two juniper stems. I have this one already, so I'll probably just gift that to somebody. Um, and they sent me stickers. And then the stamps are actually in these two bags. I'm not going to bother to take them out because, you know, you probably won't be able to see them as well as I just showed them to you on the copies on the paper stamped out. So there's that. And then these are the stamps that I want to share with you also. So Diana Markham, um, she's been posting her stamps for sale on eBay. I got the gingerbread. It's very small. Uh, we were bidding on this one. Um, and then she sent me a little freebie. And yes, my thumb is covering them for a reason. Um, this is a little fish button, fish button. So I got those two. And then I got the jar, the empty jar. You can do so much with that. And I got the apple, which I have the apple with the recipe on it. Now I have the, the blank apple. And what I want to do is put it together with the stamp set, which I want to put my phone over to. I have too much stuff on my desk. You just, one of my dies fell over. Uh, let's see, how do I do this? So I want to use it together with this set. And I want to stamp this one, well, stamp this one first and then stamp the apple after I mask the pie because I want the apple to be in the back like that. See that? That's why I bought that. Because the apple in the front is nice, it balances it, but I kind of feel like I need another image back here or something. So I wanted to do that. We'll see how that turns out. So that's part of the reason I bought that set or that apple die uh, stamp. This Darcy's one is a huge one. It's a big pocket with lace around it. You see the bear popping out. This is not a winter stamp, obviously. You could make it into that if you want, but I just like the whole look of it. Um, again, this is a Darcy's. And look at this guy. I had to get this one. I don't even remember. I think I bought this off of Etsy from the same seller who had the Darcy stamp, I think. So um, this is a gingerbread guy. Um, it is called Gingerbread Kisses S351, and it is a Dots JRL Designs stamp. I don't know if it was part of a set, but I certainly am happy to have this little guy because he's, he's a little bit different position because most gingerbreads you see front facing as opposed to side facing, um, sideways. So he's super cute. He's a good size too. And then I got this stamp, which I don't know what the name of this set is because it doesn't have it on it on the box, but it is a Stampin' Up! set from 1993. And it's, it's this shelf, but you can put stuff on the shelf that's in here. Um, I wanted this set because I bought those other sets that I bought the Big Hutch from Stampin' Up! And I also bought the Big... Um, like a bookcase or hutch from the Peddler's Pack that's huge. And I thought these could go on those as well. I could do double duty with having this whole set because all of these are meant to sit on the shelf here. So that's part of the reason I bought it. Because there's lots of different year-round things that you can put on there. And so that is my haul for today and my happy mail. So I want to thank Lisa and Isabel again for the card and the um, crafty gifts. So thank you, Lisa, and thank you, Isabel, for thinking of me. I hope you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving and are ready for Christmas crafting. I, I still am into that mode. <laughs> I just I have not been able to do as much as I wanted to do. It is what it is. I don't beat myself up over it. Um, 
and I thought I'd have time after Christmas, but now I've booked my vacation, so um, we'll see what happens there. Anyway, um, I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day, and thanks for watching. Bye!